So it looks like another BBC presenter is being exposed for some shocking, shocking stuff that he was doing. Breaking news, guys. Hey guys, it's Marab Maradi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. So if it's not Philip Schofield, if it's not Hugh Edwards, if it's not Dan Wooten, then it is Stephen Nolden. Stephen Nolden, BBC broadcaster, sent several pictures of a reality star's private parts to colleagues, it was claimed, the, as the Daily Mail is reporting. The Northern Irish star, 49-year-old, who earns 400000 a year, reportedly warned m more images of Stephen Bear's rare parts would follow if they failed to book him for his TV show, Nolan Life. What? Stephen Bear was sentenced to 21 months in jail this year for voyeurism and two counts of revenge porn featuring his former girlfriend, George Harrison. Texts and documents leaked to the Irish news reveal Stephen Nolan had said, I want Bear. If I don't get Bear tomorrow night, I'm sending more Bear photos. One recipient called the genital pictures beyond the pale and another source claimed Nolan is untouchable within the BBC who have made him the fifth highest paid star on their payroll. Bear, who had just won Celebrity Big Brother, was successfully booked and stripped off on the show where both men posed in their underpants in front of a live audience in 2016. The footage remains on the BBC website today. Interesting. Gregory Gamble, DUP MP for East London, said the scale and significance of the revelations printed today were they related to any other area of life in Northern Ireland would undoubtedly be headline news across the BBC. Radio silence just won't cut it, however, in this instance. Many people will obviously question the culture which appears to be prevalent within the programme where its presenters have sent unwanted sexual images to staff members. This ultimately is an issue of how public money is used in Northern Ireland. Whew, wow. Stephen Nolan faced bullying and harassment claims in 2018, but it was rejected. Um, Star's production company, Third Street Studios, has seen funds rise from 1.5 million to 4 million in 2022 as well. Mr. Nolan was back on air this morning presenting a daily radio show. He did not address the allegations. Wow. The fact that he was threatening, the fact that he was threatening, threatening people to say, if you don't bring this guest onto my live show, I'm going to be leaking images of his genitals to people. And that was what he was doing is absolutely insane. And because he is untouchable when it comes to the BBC, this news didn't hit the world like it should have, number one. And number two, he just gotten away with it and everything is absolutely fine. How are you able to take pictures or even have pictures of talent and then use that to threaten people to use it against them if they don't come onto your show and still remain untouchable is beyond me. Like, it is really is beyond me when it comes to the presenters and people that we watch every single day on our TV screens and people that have so much power, they not only abuse it, but they get away with it like that and for such a long time indeed. So this is shocking news. It's being reported by the Daily Mail. Um, a complainant said the first picture of Bear's um, genitals was a deliberate attempt to undermine and embarrass me by Nolan. The same person said further distress was caused when a second a different explicit photo of Stephen Bear was sent to the group. A document seen by the Irish News said the matter was managed internally. Internally means let's just put it away to the corner so it's not public news. Wow. One document said all the interviewees said they found the show a very good one to work on. They acknowledged it was a tough show because of the nature of the subjects they covered and the fact that it was daily and live. These are people who are speaking about the show itself. So, you know, we have Hugh Edwards and everything that took place when it comes to him. But clearly when it comes to Stephen Nolan, you know, it hasn't gone anywhere. Nobody has touched this and he is the fifth most paid star at the BBC. You have Gary Lineker, Zoe Ball, Alan Shearer, Hugh Edwards, and then you have Stephen Nolan as number five. So clearly he does hold a lot of value when it comes to the BBC. But yet again, another BBC presenter being accused and, you know, clearly he's been seen sending nude pictures of people and using it basically as a threat to get that talent on my show. Otherwise, they're going to use it against them. So it's like, 
You see them having fun on their show with their guests, but lo and behold, you have no idea how these grown men can get pictures of these boys and, you know, these young adults and all these young men and use them to their advantage. And it's absolutely sickening. Let me know your thoughts I want to come to this, guys. Yet again, another BBC presenter is in the fire, but clearly this fire has been put out because nobody has been speaking about Stephen Nolan and his nasty tactics. Subscribe to the channel, click that button for daily and consistent content, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.